Hey everybody, welcome back to Tech Odyssey. So I just got back from watching the movie The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent with Nicolas Cage and I was thinking about a video and a topic for tonight when I was, when I got back home and this dawned on me to make this video because there were some similarities that I found between the decisions that Google makes and the way things pan out for them and kind of the eccentricities and the things that uh, Nicolas Cage has done. And I don't think he needs explaining to a lot of people, but basically he squandered, I guess, about $150 million fortune. I mean, he bought some crazy stuff. He did some crazy things. I had to pull up a list, and I'm going to read some of these off. And uh, I actually think he's a good actor. I mean, I, I love The Rock, one of my favorite movies. Great movie, The Great Sean Connery. Con Air. <laughs> actually, I was watching, and oh my gosh, his accent is terrible. But anyway, he bought two Bahamian Islands. The Shah of Iran's Lamborghini, exotic cars and motorcycles, luxury yachts. He bought twin Cobras. Um, the first Superman comic. He bought a sh bought shrunken pygmy heads and a tombstone in the shape of pyramids. I mean, a lot of crazy stuff this man bought. And you've seen, I mean, he's been in the media for years and years and years. Not always the best decisions, but had the opportunity to make such great decisions that it's questioned that you have to sit there and wonder what happened. I mean, Academy Award winner and lots of other great accolades. And you look at Google. Google is owned by, they're under the Alphabet Company and they are the fifth largest company in the world. They made, let me pull this up here just because I can't remember all of it. So Alphabet is the fifth largest company in the world. $257 billion is what they're worth in 2021. They make the Pixel phones. They make Android. And it's just odd to me that they kind of do a lot of the same stuff. They have all the money, all the opportunity in the world, but they always make these really weird decisions that make people scratch their heads. Enter stage right, the Pixel 3 with the giant divot for a notch. And it's funny because so many people complain about the notch on the iPhone. Why would you make it three times deeper? Like that sucker was, was horrible. And then you look at the Pixel 4 and then they didn't put a fingerprint sensor on there. They put really small batteries in it and they didn't have a very bright screen. And then you look at the Pixel 5 and they had that weird speaker on the top. And then it also used a Snapdragon 765 and it went backwards significantly in the flagship department. And then you get the Pixel 6 and then they put that janky fingerprint sensor in there. And then there's no facial recognition technology. Android 12 was a disaster when it was launched. They have every opportunity. And when you look at the phone, let me take my case off it while I talk to you all fine folks. I actually really like the way it looks. They finally, I think, kind of got it right. They established something that looks very much Google, looks very much Pixel, their own identity, premium build quality, doesn't look and feel like cheap plastic anymore. And they didn't do anything crazy on the outside, but still not quite perfect. So it's just really interesting to me because Google is filthy, stinking rich. They have so much money that they could throw at this. And they finally upped their budget this year for the first time in basically for forever. And it actually kind of helped out. They did get some market share. Of course, there's people that it's very questionable whether it was because the phones were so good, because they had so many incentives for carrier salesmen to push them, or just merely the fact that LG left a vacuum of about 13 to 15% market share in the U.S., so, yeah, they picked up some of that. 3% here, 4% there, 5% there in different markets and different carriers, all that good stuff. That's a good thing in some metrics. They are the third number one phone over, what, like 500 bucks in the U.S. Maybe it was 400. I can't remember the metrics. But anyway, they could do so much better. And I don't think that that's something that is very disputable here. I mean, look at the Pixelbook failure. Look at, look at what they've tried to do with other devices, and then they backtrack, and then all we have are these few Pixel phones, and then they couldn't even get that 100% right, especially out of the gate. And then the recurring issues that people were having for months. So it was just funny to me. I was sitting there thinking about it. And I was like, you know what? I want to talk about something. And this idea just struck me. So anyway, if you haven't seen The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent, it just came out yesterday. So you're seeing this today. So it's out largely available everywhere now. Um, rated R movie. A lot of language in there. But <laughs> otherwise, I thought it was pretty funny. So, yeah, there's a lot of stuff to like there. Just like a lot of people have this endearment for Nicolas Cage, like the National Treasure movies, like Con Air, like Gone in 60 Seconds. There's a lot of movies he's made. Moonstruck, that was a good one too. So, 
yeah, it, it's there's all this massive talent there. There's all this opportunity that's been there. And sometimes it shows up and sometimes it doesn't. So it, it's just one of those things where it makes you scratch your head and go, why couldn't Google assemble the greatest team known to man? I mean, you see this all over the NBA. Oh, hey, Kyrie Irving, let's get you over on Brooklyn. Hey, James Harden, let's get you on Brooklyn. Hey, Kevin Durant, let's get you on Brooklyn. And then it's like, okay, well, we can't hardly win. We're going to get rid of James Harden. Or you look over at L.A. and what they've done over there with LeBron James and that whole team of superstars that missed the playoffs. It's just one of those anomalies of the world, I guess, where I guess this helps the underdog and it helps the regular guys who are out there just putting their nose to the grind and doing it day in and day out. Having money and having opportunity and having a super team isn't always something that pays off in the world that translates to success. You look at the success that Xiaomi has, the success that Samsung has, the success that Apple has or Microsoft. There's a lot of other guys out there who are doing it right or doing a lot of things right. And it's the little things. like the, It's the little nuanced details and the stuff that just makes you go, huh, and scratches your head sometimes. But I have hope for the Pixel 6 just around the corner. The A-Series always does seem to shine a little bit better than the primary numbers. And then hopefully with the Tensor 2, and then the Pixel 7 this fall, I'd like to see a I'd like to see a step in excellence. I'd like to see that be the gone in 60 seconds that Nicolas Cage had to the Google world when it comes to Pixels. Let's get a great phone out there that doesn't have hiccups. It doesn't make you wonder what's crazy Nick Cage or what's crazy Google doing with their phones just go around and then not leave us here scratching our heads right. Now, of course, there are a lot of people that love the Pixel 6. I like the Pixel 6 a lot. You have probably noticed. I even have my Google shirt on today. I got this actually in New York at the Google store. I still have the footage on my phone. I need to pull that off and make my video. I made I recorded everything when I went to the Google store there. I need to do that. If y'all are interested in that, please sound off in the comments. Let me know if that's something you want to see. I really do need to get down and make that video. If it's something that y'all guys want to see, I'll put the time and effort into it. But that was it. I, I was just sitting there thinking like, you know, this is actually a really good correlation. Let's talk about this. This will be fun. Sign, some good discussion. Actually, in the comment section, tell me what your favorite Nicolas Cage movie is. That would be a good topic of discussion too. Also, what's your favorite Pixel phone? Which is your favorite? The Pixel 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, or any of the A-Series? I think that that would make some good conversation and let's end the note. Let's end the week on a good note and some fun with this video. So that's all I've got. If you have any questions or comments, please go down to the comment section. I will get back with you. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button and a little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. And as always, thanks for being here. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you guys next time. And have a great weekend.